I am Mili Odiambo Mabona, Member of Parliament, Soba North, uh, previously called Mbita Constituency. I have been twice elected as a Member of Parliament and uh, served as nominated Member of Parliament as well. And so I'm doing my third term, but I've also served as a Member of the Pan-African Parliament. It's uh, been a, an interesting journey, if I could, I could say so. It's an interesting journey because when you are nominated, it gave me an opportunity to focus on the issues that are very dear to me, uh, like the issues of women's rights, children's rights, and basically to represent the entire country on those issues that are very dear. And within that period, you do realize that I passed uh, a lot of bills that are of a national uh, nature. Uh, the Counter-Trafficking in Persons Act, the Treaty Making and Ratification Act, the Victim Protection Act, am amongst many others, which are basically laws that are, you know, cut across and protect the rights of women and children specifically. Uh, but it also gave me a platform uh, to learn politics uh, from a more comfortable zone. A lot of women sort of get into politics from the deep end. But when you get into a national platform, it gives you an opportunity from the comfort of parliament and from the space of the political party to espouse issues that are dear to you. And uh, so then, yes, I was able to transit, but also I shadowed um, my then member of parliament, the late Senator Otieno Kajuang, and through him, uh, learned a lot of things. When I got into politics, I was a tad elitist, uh, being a lawyer with a degree from the University of Nairobi and a master's from New York University. And uh, so at some point uh, when I was starting, I was a bit detached from the realities on the ground. Uh, but um, through shadowing on the Kajuang, I have learned many, many lessons. I have learned how to work very closely with the local communities. I have learned to feel the pulse of local communities. And um, so, yes, I was able to transit very easily. <laughs> what motivated me to politics is a number of issues. Uh, but primary of which is the fact that we have alluded to, that when we were at the cradle, uh, we did a lot of work relating to children. We sought to protect the rights of children. And one of the things that came out very clearly was that sometimes that uh, was hampered uh, by a poor legislative agenda. Of course, I got a lot of culture shocks when I came into parliament. The culture shock I got is that it's, parliament is totally different from what people see outside or think outside. Uh, you know, when you're outside, people tell you how parliamentarians are paid very highly, how it is a very lucrative job, how you get a lot of money. That is the farthest from the truth. When you come into parliament, you're actually a servant of the people. Any money you earn, you earn for the people. Any work you do, you do for the people. You throw privacy out of the window. When I came into parliament, I had a vision. And uh, my vision was about transformation. As I told you when I started out from the civil society, there are a lot of things that we wanted to transform. There are laws we wanted to change. And uh, so we kept meeting members of parliament to lobby them to change those laws. Now I find myself in a situation where I can change those laws. Why would I then be outside when I can actually do uh, something that is so significant? I don't think many of us do understand actually the significance of being in this house. You have an opportunity to change people's lives and to change history and to change the course of history. And where the rubber meets the road is actually in the committee of the whole house. Like now we've just been talking about the children bill in the second, uh, you know, uh, in the second reading. When I was in the select committee on the constitution, uh, I brought an amendment within the committee that says that you cannot give less than 15% to the counties. So I can tell you that the at least 15% that goes to the counties but they are courtesy of me. I provided under the Constitution again, brought an amendment to protect victims of crime. Up until that time, uh, the law focused much more on the uh, perpetrators of crime than the victims of crime. And so by that, by dint of that alone, and then the law then I brought here on the victim protection, now we actually have a law that now looks into victims of crime. So that when you go into a court of law, and you've been violated, you've been beaten up, or you, things are stolen, you are not just uh, a passerby in court. You are actually a person that is aggrieved that the court should look at very specifically. So yeah, it is a significant part and the critical reason that actually should bring us here in Parliament. 
the tragedy is that a lot of us, including the members of the public, do not understand the role of parliament because our role is legislative, representation and oversight. But now what people look at is development, which is not a bad thing, but it is not actually the role of a member of parliament.